Hey guys, welcome to this Get Ready With Me for university. I actually am not going to university right now because it's my summer vacation, which is weird, but I live in Australia, so just so you know that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you what I would do in makeup terms if I was going to university. And so let's get started. So first I'm gonna go in with the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. And this is gonna be a really simple look, like an everyday, you can do this kind of look. So it's not gonna take very long at all. And I also thought I'd tell you a little bit about university life. Um, I'm actually going into my second year of university where I'm studying law. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in shade one for a dewy, little base and just put some on yeah so i completed my first year of law which i actually really enjoyed i studied eight subjects uh four of them were mandatory like core subjects and the other four were electives and law electives so the four uh, core subjects that I did were foundations to law, legal reasoning and technological change, international law and torts law. And I would say my favorite out of them was torts law because I really enjoyed seeing like, like not crimes, but like kind of crimes, you know, and like compensatable things. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna, pursue that in my law career. I, I think I'd rather do um, corporate or business law, which is a elective that I took in the first semester. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer in shade 1W. And I'm only gonna use a little bit of this under the eyes. Yeah, so that's what I'm planning so far for my future after law school. And actually, uh, my law school will be 3.5 years. And after that, I'll do uh, half a year of like practicing law here. Okay, so that's my concealer done. Now I'm going to go in with the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronzer Color and I'll put some on my nose as a contour and just some on my face as well over here and blending that in with a beauty blender. So how is university life for me? I actually really enjoyed my first year. It was tough, um, but it was okay. Yeah, I, I, I did enjoy it. And I'm really glad that I decided to go to university. Uh, I was actually going to go to another university, but I had visa complications. So I am now here in Australia. Now I'm gonna go in with the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Blush color. And it's this red, but I was gonna use a pink, but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this like orangey red and a little on the nose as well. Um, some advice I'd give to you before starting university is make sure that you have everything planned out and like a note taking system in place. And my first semester, I didn't have that. So my notes were really jumbled and I would just take like some on Word documents, some on Google Docs. And so I was really lost. But then in my second semester, I was like, okay, I need to figure this out. And I decided to use good notes and I used a Cornell method taking system and that really helped me. So basically what Cornell method 
writing system is is that I will have a date and title at the start of the page and then on the right side I'll have all the information and on the left side I'll have questions so I'll be like what is an intentional tort and then on the right side I'd answer the question so if I was in an exam which they're mostly all open book exams here uh, at my university for law, uh, I can just be like, okay, what is um, an intentional tort, if that's like a question, and then I'll get the exact answer. So that was really helpful. And another thing that I did was make Anki notepads, uh, note flash, flash notes. I said, yeah, I don't know what they're called, uh, but flashcards, yes. I made Anki flashcards uh, which were really helpful as well because they also have a system where you can look up uh, the answers to questions. So I would just import the questions from my uh, good notes and put them into Anki. So that was also quick. Uh, there's also many websites related to Anki where you can just import PDFs and it will generate uh, flashcards for you which I thought was like the most helpful thing ever before exams. So I definitely recommend that. Anki is a little bit harder to navigate than Quizlet, which I used to use in high school, but it was still really uh, helpful for me. Next, I'm going in with the Nude 6 Nudies All Over Face Highlight. And I'm just going to go into the tip of my nose and blend it out with my finger, the bridge of my nose and blend it out and my cheekbones and just above the lip. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Easy, uh, uh, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting pound Powder in shade Pound Cake to set my makeup. just taking out some product, getting it into a powder brush and just going under the eye first. And then all over the face to mattify it. But hopefully you can still see some of the highlight. Now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Wax to lift my brows and do the soap brow effect. And I'm going to go in with a concealer brush first to apply the product. And now I'm going to go in with a spoolie and brush my brows up. Yeah. And finally, I'm going to go in with a lip oil. And I'm using the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Lip Oil. So my lips stay hydrated. I'm going to bring this with me. I will. I would bring this with me if I had university, but I don't right now. And yeah, that's the final look. Let me take this off and I'll show you it in front of better lighting. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something about university life, and also how to do your makeup for a subtle university glam. And bye-bye, guys.